what's up guys, Sunceptor here, and this is going to be the first video in a series of how you can improve your World of Warcraft gameplay. Now this is going to be a very basic tutorial. This is going to be for beginners and people who don't have as much experience. So you may not get as much out of this if you're more experienced, but it may be worth taking a look. Now let's get right into things. This video is going to be about your UI. As you can see, I have just a very simple clip of me in the background, and it just has my UI laid out. Basically how I see everything in Arena. Now what I have this out for is this is a good example of how you might want to set up your UIs. And how I say this is because everything is very clean and around your character portrait. As you see I have my character portraits at the bottom of my target and my focus to the right above it. And my arena frames above that and right where you see the two glowing procs, underneath that would normally be my party frames with the WoW arena stock party frames rather. Now, basically, I have everything in a U shape around my character for the most part. This allows me to see everything my character's doing and anyone's doing to me, as well as be able to see all around the screen without having all my UI all over the place. I have everything nice and close to me so that I can just see it and I can look down and see my cooldowns, look to my right and see some of my cooldowns. Everything is really very simple to see, very clean and very organized. A lot of people often say they have a hard time increasing their arena awareness, and when I ask them to see their UI, it is, it's insane. They just have these crazy UIs with things everywhere, all over the place, and it's a very easy thing to change to just set up something similar, like mine. You can, get, you can use add-ons, people use LUI, things like that, however, you have to configure them to where you don't have so much stuff all over your screen. If you have so many things all over your screen that you don't need, then it's just taking up space that you can use to see what's going on. Now the reason I say that you should have a UI centralized like mine, basically it allows you for when you first started going into Arena for the first few times, you're basically kind of tunnel visioning. You can't see everything for what's going around. You, have, you don't have a very expanded field of view. And that comes with time. And now with having a UI where everything is pretty clean in the center of your screen for the most part, you're able to have a less expanded field of view for the first few times while being able to see a good majority of what's going on. Like you can say, like your arena frame, someone's casting something, you know, that you need to use an ability, you need to kick it, you need to stun it, you need to do whatever, or your teammates are getting low, things like that. Without this kind of centralization, it takes many more games with a pra and a lot of practice to be able to notice what's going on around you, and to have better game awareness, especially arena awareness. Now, I'm not obviously saying that you should go out and copy my UI, because it's always based on preference and how you feel comfortable in playing. However, I do think that if you have something similar to mine, with a UI similar to mine, it allows you to have a very clean and open space to be able to play and notice what's going on. And this is key in starting off in Arena. A lot of people who are new obviously don't have the Arena awareness of people who are more experienced and can't see what's going on. Therefore, it's a lot harder to adapt and be able to get more skillful. If you already can see a lot of the things that's going on, such as your focus, your arena targets, all that kind of stuff, you already go into the game with a step above other people. You're already at an advantage. And with this advantage, you can go ahead and start practicing other things rather than working on expanding the field of view. Now basically, this just gives you a little bit of help. This isn't going to change your gameplay that drastically. It will just make things smoother on you and make the learning curve a little less harsh. In a later video, I'll go over how this affects your gameplay and how these little skills can actually help enhance your gameplay, but for now this is just a simple video to get the series started and get the topic rolling of how you can improve your gameplay. Now I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can take something from this, and if you did, please remember to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe, and you can always drop a comment in the comment section below to see what you might want to need help with next, and I can hopefully get into a video soon. Till then, see you guys soon.